The world of Samsung updates just got a lot more interesting, and if you thought the One UI 8 beta was only for the newest flagships, think again. Out of nowhere, Samsung just widened the gates, bringing Android 16 powered One UI 8 to devices no one expected this early, including some fan favorite mid-rangers. And what's even more surprising, the rollout speed this year is unlike anything we've seen before from Samsung. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe if you want to keep getting the biggest Samsung news before anyone else. So here's the deal. The One UI 8 beta, which at first felt like an exclusive party for the Galaxy S24 series and foldables like the Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6, is now welcoming the Galaxy S23 series. Yes, the S23, S23 Plus, and Ultra are all officially in. But Samsung didn't stop there. They surprised everyone by adding phones like the Galaxy A36, A35, A54, and even the A55. Think about it, Samsung isn't just pushing updates for the Precious flagships, they're showing real love to the everyday Galaxy user. That's a big shift in strategy, and it's exactly why this rollout is worth watching. Now, if you're in India with an S23, you can already grab the beta. It's a hefty 3.1 GB download with the September 2025 security patch baked in. Mid-rangers are a little lighter, around 2 GB each, but still packed with the same Android 16 goodies. And Samsung isn't just keeping this limited to one market. The A36 rollout is already hitting the US, UK, South Korea, and India, while the A55 beta is gearing up for the same regions. That's a global push happening fast, which is not how Samsung used to play the update game. Joining the beta is simple. Open the Samsung members app, find the banner, sign up, and then check your settings for the update. No factory reset, no data loss, just a direct peek into the future of Samsung software. But here's the catch, it's still beta, so expect the occasional crash, app glitch, or random battery drain. This is the price of being ahead of the curve, but for many, the new features are worth the risk. And let's talk about those features. One UI 8 isn't just a fresh coat of paint. It's smoother, more AI driven, and smarter about how you use your phone. Quick share is faster and more intuitive. Personalization feels more tailored and multitasking finally feels fluid on mid range hardware. Samsung has been talking up Galaxy AI all year and this beta shows they're serious about blending it deep into the experience. But here's where things get really interesting. Samsung has already hinted that more devices, including last year's Galaxy Z Fold 5, will join the beta program soon. That means the timeline for wider adoption could move much faster than anyone predicted. In fact, looking back, Samsung started internal testing with the Galaxy S25 lineup early in 2025, launched stable builds for the Z Fold 7, Z Flip 7 in July, and now, barely two months later, they're already rolling it out to older flagships and mid-rangers. That speed is shocking for a company that used to lag behind in updates. The community reactions so far are mixed but fascinating. Around 40% of eligible users have already jumped in, another 20% are waiting for their region's turn, and the rest are holding back for the stable release. That split tells us something important. The beta isn't just a test anymore, it's becoming a mainstream way to experience Samsung's future first. So if you're rocking a Galaxy S23, A36, A35, A54, or A55, your phone is officially part of the future today. And with more devices about to join, it looks like Samsung's betting big on making One UI 8 the smoothest and most widely available update yet. The only question is, will you risk the bugs to get your hands on it early, or will you wait for the polished stable release? Either way, the next few weeks are going to be big for Galaxy users, and we'll be here tracking every twist. Thanks for hanging out till the end. If you enjoyed this breakdown, Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next wave of updates. This is just the beginning. Trust me, what Samsung has planned next will be even bigger.